All right, guys, it's Gray back at you. I actually don't have a review today. What I have is kind of an advocacy thing. Um, I I don't do a lot of advocacy things, and I, I kind of kick myself in the ass for that. Uh, I should be more proactive on my channel with advocacy, uh, especially considering California just passed a law, um, or is almost passed a law, I'm not sure which, I haven't looked that far into it, I have looked into it though, about um, classifying vaping as a tobacco product, um, even though I'm pretty damn sure the federal law, uh, the uh a federal distinction between the two. I could be completely wrong on that last part, though. Um, so it, it, it kind of... Uh, well, that's the word, is, word I'm trying to say. It, it kind of uh, it allows them to tax it like uh, uh, tobacco products. It allows vape shops to have to buy a license to have to be able to vape in their shop. Um, a lot of the bars, you have to buy a license to vape. All this kind of stuff like this. Um, if anybody's out there in California, please correct me. Please feel free to correct me in the comments. I apologize if I got any of that wrong. Um, but I, I don't, I don't get very active in the Casa uh, on my channel, uh, the Casa scene on my channel. But I am active in Casa. I do sign petitions. I do call Congress. I call my president. I write my president. Everything like that. I'm even trying to get. Um, I've even tr started the process of getting. Um, I'm in Virginia. Um, we don't. We have our own group here, and I apologize. I cannot think of it at the moment. I do know the name of it. Um, we do not talk that. I mean, uh, I apologize. Sorry. Um, I do not talk that much about it, but um, I am trying to get in, uh, this channel involved in a Virginia um, advocacy kind of thing. Um, but and I don't talk about politics that much. Uh, I live in Virginia, like I just said, uh, and I don't know if I've said that in the past, but I do live in Virginia. Virginia is a huge political state. Uh, oh, it, it's exhausting getting into politics around Virginia. It's the center of Virginia is Republican. The western part of the state's divided. The northern part of the state is friggin' Democrat. The west, uh, the eastern part of the state's Democrat. It, it, it's. The, I'll be honest, guys. I stand in the middle, but um, to get into any politics in Virginia, it's exhausting. So I try not to get into politics, especially on a channel, on a YouTube channel, because if you get into any kind of politics, somebody's going to get pissed off. But I am going to get into politics today, because Republican Duncan Hunter, um, they were in the middle of a uh, of a debate on a bill about va banning vaping on airplanes, which, to be honest with you guys, it's kind of annoying to just go... So how's your trip going? Whew. Where are you headed to? Yeah, that's a little annoying. I can kind of understand uh, banning on an airplane. You're all breathing the same air. You know, even though it's 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 not as as harmful as cigarettes, I can kind of understand. It's kind of rude. But anyways, that's beside the point. They were in the middle of a of conver of a debate over banning vapor on airplanes, and Senator Duncan Hunter. A senator from California, the the state that just declared uh, vaping a tobacco product, was vaping in the middle of Congress on Capitol Hill. Yes, this is huge news. Um, I've had a hard day at work. I came home and I said, I don't care what I'm drinking. I'm going to drink beer. So I went and picked up Bud Ice. Um, I normally drink Guinness. Yeah, I actually have an empty Guinness bottle here. I'm a huge Guinness guy. I love good beer, but I said, fuck it, I'm going to drink some cheap-ass beer and just relax. But, um, it, I was so, I was laying in bed about to uh, just, you know, turn the phone off, set the vape down, turn the lights off, go to sleep, and... And, and put the beer down, you know, it, it's almost gone anyway, but, um, I was in the middle of all that, and I was cruising down Facebook, and a friend of mine, actually on Facebook, that I used to work with, um, he posted this video of Duncan Hunter 
actually vaping in Congress. And it was a huge deal to me. Um, see, like I said, I consider myself a middle person. I vote who for whoever I believe is correct or whoever I can stand behind. And I will say that the left seems to have this whole anti-vaping thing. This whole, oh my god, it could possibly hurt us, let's not let people do it. Or let's tax it. Which I don't want to tax, but, you know. Anyways, I'm not getting into that part. And this Republican congressman came up and said, I'm going to vape in front of everybody. And I'm going to state exactly what it is and why. I think this is amazing. I think this is absolutely amazing. Um, I think that uh, I, I got so excited that I wanted to share this with y'all. Um, I got up off my bed. I put some clothes on just to shoot a video. And I kind of put down the stick, sticking up hair. And uh, I did grin the beard just a tiny bit. And I wanted to, to actually share this with you guys. Because this is a huge thing. If somebody has the balls, excuse the lack of words, but has the balls to actually stand up in a non-rude fashion and say, I vape, this is, well it is, it was kind of rude, but I vape, this is what vaping is, this is why we shouldn't be afraid of it. If he can stand up and do that in the middle of Congress, I think there's a hope for vaping. And honestly... There's never been not been a hope for vaping because vaping from I hate to say this because I'm not a Rip Trippers fan anymore, but vaping is the future. Um, people nowadays, you have two types of vapors. You have the vapor that vapes for life or for a long time, which is what I am. I enjoy vaping. Um, it's gotten me off dip, um, and it's just been a fun hobby. And I can bring stuff to y'all. Um, I've gone from 15 cans a dip a day to one a month. I still have that one can for stress value. You know, for stress value. You know, when it got when it's gone, I buy a can and I only open it when I'm stressed the hell out. Like I, I, I didn't even open it tonight. I have a hard night. So that, that shows you how much I, I actually did. Um, but and then there's a, another group of vapors that says I'm gonna get off smoking by vaping, and then I'm gonna quit vaping, which is fine. But normally those people don't really care too much about preserving vaping. Um, and I'm not knocking people that do vape and then quit. I'm just kind of saying that we should preserve the future. We should preserve the future of vaping. Um, because if we just kind of quit and then don't stand up for the right to vape, the next generation is not going to have that. And... I think we all need to, uh, personally, I'm not shoving, trying to throw, shove it down your throat, but I think everybody needs to stand up for the right to vape. Everybody needs to stand up for the future of vapors. And until they come out and say, oh my god, this is absolutely fucking horrible for you, I'm surprised everybody's not dead from it. I will support vaping tenfold. And even then, I will look into alternative studies. Until study after study after study after study after study proves that fact. Because we've ha all had studies. I mean, we've had studies that have come out and said, this is bad. But if you look into it, it's like they didn't give you all the facts. Like the Harvard study with popcorn lung. They didn't really give you all the facts. Um, so what I'm trying to say here is, please, I, I don't normally get into uh, activism, which I do promise to get into more. Um, but please stand up for your right to vape. Vaping is our gift to the well. It's not all of our gifts to the future, but it's some of our gifts to the future. If we can preserve that right for people in the future, then that's that's amazing. Um, so please stand up for your right to do that. And um, I will actually put a link. That I found um, a link to a nice video and a nice article describing everything, not some slam article. Um, and. Uh, I hope everybody watches it and takes this video into consideration. I'll put a link down to the saw. And um, everybody, please take care. Um, I do, if anybody is, cons it is uh, 
still watching and uh, does care. I do have more videos coming up. I just got a new camera. I shot a new vape box video, and my vape box video sucked. Um, I did it on my couch, and it looked absolutely horrible. So I'm going to be shooting a new vape box video, and it's not going to be like the whole surprise stuff, but it, it will be a good vape box video. Um, I do have a video about a mod, the IVP5 from Pioneer for You, and the Arctic. Uh, Arctic 8 V8 uh, from Horizon Tech, which I have absolutely been loving. I've been loving both of these because this is on the battery charger. This is on the charger at the moment. I mean, that right there shows you amazing amounts of vapor, and it's wonderfully tasty too. Anyways, I'm not going to. Uh, that's that's all for the review. Um, so I will uh, put links down below, and I'd like to thank you all for watching, and please, again, please stand up for your right to vote. I don't care what political view you are. I don't care. I don't care at all. Just please, I beg of you to stand up for your right to vote. Sign petitions. Call the White House. Call your congressman. Do anything you can that is, is not violent activist, because that's absolutely horrible and horrid. But, um... I, I, I pray that one day we all march on Washington in a very peaceful manner and say we are vapors and we stand to we stand up for our right to vape. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling and I'd like to say thank everybody thank you again for watching if you made it this far and please take care.